the best present ever. Hey, Lightning, look at me. Woo-wee! Mater sledded past his best buddy, Lightning McQueen. It was wintertime in Radiator Springs. Christmas was just a few days away, and fresh snow blanketed the ground. The two friends were taking turns sliding down a snow-covered hill using Mater's one-of-a-kind junkyard sled. I'm telling you, this here is the best sled in Radiator Springs, Mater exclaimed. I know, you have told me, Lightning laughed, several times. It has its own headlights, super-fast gliders, and built-in bumper tires, the friends said together. Well, hold your horsepower, said Mater, because it's going to be even funner when we take it sledding at Kersploosh Mountain. Kersploosh Mountain was a water park near Radiator Springs. For just one day a year, on Christmas, the water slides were frozen over so that the cars could go sledding down the chutes. Uh, Mater, there's something I need to tell you, Lightning looked worried. Remember that Russian Ice Racers Cup I told you I'm competing in? Well, sure, said Mater. The one in a few weeks? That's just it, Lightning said. They moved it up to this week. I'm not going to be here for Christmas after all. Mater stopped dead in his tracks. You're not? Lightning shook his head. I'm really sorry, buddy. I know I'll miss Christmas at Kersploosh Mountain. But hey, maybe we can do something else when I get back. Yeah, sure thing, Mater said. Later that afternoon, Mater pulled into Flo's V8 Cafe. Hey there, Mater, Flo called. Want to try a sip of my new eggnog oil? It's guaranteed to fill you up with Christmas cheer. I could use some, said Mater. I'm plumb out of Christmas cheer. Something got you down, honey? Flo asked. Mater sighed. Lightning won't be home for Christmas. He's in some Russian rice cup. That's too bad, Flo said. I guess you'll have to celebrate the holiday early. Yeah, celebrate early. That's a good idea, said Mater. Then he thought for a moment. Oh, shoot. I forgot about presents. I've got to get lightning something. But what? Flo looked thoughtful. Hmm. Well, you're going to miss him while he's away, right? Yeah, Mater nodded eagerly. So how about getting him something for the race, so he knows you'll be thinking of him, like ear mufflers or a snow scraper? Mater smiled. Or snow tires. That's a great idea, Flo. I know just where to go. With that, Mater dashed off. Luigi, Mater yelled as he skidded up to Casa Della Tires. I need your help. Luigi smiled. For you, Mater, anything. Those snow tires, said Mater. The ones that used to be in your front window. Where'd they go? I need to buy them for lightning for his crushing dice cup. Luigi's smile faded. Ah, I could do anything but that. I'm afraid somebody's already bought them. They just left a moment ago. Sure enough, outside, a big truck was driving away from the shop. Mater raced after the truck, finally catching up with him at the intersection. Mater explained the situation, then pleaded with the truck. I need those tires for my best buddy's Christmas gift. I'll give you anything. The truck sighed. Sorry, but I've been dreaming of speeding through the snow with these super fast tires. Mater raised an eyebrow. Fast, huh? What if I told you I had something that goes even faster than those tires? Curious, the truck agreed to meet Mater at the edge of town. Meanwhile, Mater raced to this junkyard to grab his sled. All right, Mater said when the two trucks met again. I'll bet my sled is faster going down that hill than you and those tires. If I'm right, we'll trade. Deal? The truck agreed, and soon they were zipping down the snowy slope. Mater zoomed past the truck and won. The truck happily traded the tires for Mater's sled. Meanwhile, Lightning was helping Sally decorate the Cozy Cone Motel. I feel awful, he said. Mater looked so sad when I told him. Well, said Sally, do you need to do the race? Huh? asked Lightning. It's not part of your normal circuit, Sally pointed out. I'm sure they'd understand if you didn't go. Lightning's eyes lit up. You're right, Mater is my best friend, and a trophy is just another trophy. I'm going to withdraw from the race and stay here for Christmas. Lightning raced home to call Vitaly Petrov, who was hosting the Ice Racers Cup. Vitaly told Lightning not to worry. He could reschedule the race for after the holiday. That works out great. Thanks, Vitaly, said Lightning. He couldn't wait to tell Mater the good news. On his way to see his best buddy, Lightning drove past a big sign for Kersploosh Mountain. He suddenly had an idea for the perfect gift. The next day, Lightning and Mater exchanged gifts. Open yours, open yours, open yours, Mater cried. Okay, said Lightning. But Mater, I have some good news that... Lightning trailed off as he unwrapped the tires. You got these for me? He asked, looking up at his friend. Yeah, Mater grinned from mirror to mirror. If my best buddy can't be here for Christmas, then he'd sure as heck better win his blush and mice cup. Do you like them? Lightning was touched. Mater, I love them. But Mater was already ripping open his gift. 
When he saw the two tickets to Kersploosh Mountain, his eyes grew wide. Lightning shrugged. My race was delayed, so now I can spend Christmas with you, buddy. No way, Mater exclaimed. That is awesome. I can't believe we're going to Kersploosh Mountain on Christmas Day. Now we can take my sled and... Uh-oh. Hey, where is your sled? Lightning asked, looking around. Mater shuffled nervously. Uh, I may have kind of sort of traded it to get you them their snow tires. The two friends stared at each other. Then they started laughing. Can you believe this? Lightning exclaimed. We thought we were getting each other the perfect Christmas presents, but we ended up getting stuff we can't use. Mater nodded. Yeah, but I'll tell you one thing, buddy. Spending Christmas together is still the best present ever. Lightning smiled. Same here, pal. I wouldn't change a thing. Mater looked at the gifts. Well, shoot. What are we going to do with four tires and no race and two tickets with no sled? A twinkle came to Lightning's eye. Well, we may not have a junkyard sled, but we do have a junkyard. Mater, didn't your old sled have bumper tires? Mater bounced up and down. Oh no, I see where you're going. He started racing around his junkyard collecting scraps. Dad gum, this is going to be so cool. On Christmas Day, Mater and Lightning sat at the top of Kersploosh Mountain. Beneath them was a new junkyard sled, except this one was extra special. It had two seats, flashing Christmas lights, double gliders, and extra large bumper tires. It's Mater's junkyard sled 0.2, with double the sledding fun, cried Mater. You ready for this? Lightning asked as they teetered on the top of the slide. You bet, said Mater. As long as I've got my good buddy with me, I'm as ready as I'll ever be.